Have you ever taken the time to try to break down the components of a freestyle song? What was it that made these songs so popular back in the day? And why is it so hard for anyone to produce a new hit today? Well, in this video, I'm going to try to break down what I feel are the three main components to a freestyle song in hopes that together, maybe we can figure out what the fuck is going on. Hey, what's up, freestylers? Latif here, exploring with you the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle. And every week on this channel, we discuss ways that we, as a freestyle music community, can recognize, define, and nurture the culture that lies within the freestyle music genre. We'll also be talking with not only different artists and freestyle personnel, but also the fans in search of some new ideas on how we can resurrect this genre back to the way we remember. If you're new to this channel and feel like this is something that you can get down with, do me a favor and smash that like button. Also, if you click the subscribe and the little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. So of course there are more than three components to a freestyle song, but in this video, let's keep it simple and in future videos, we can dig a little deeper. Number one, the artist. Look, I can't get to the root by beating around the bush, but freestyle music as we know it was established by the urban Latino youth of New York City, to be more specific, Puerto Ricans from the Bronx. Number two, the beat. We discussed this in the last video, so if you missed it, I'm gonna put a link down in the description. Make sure you check that out. But basically, ask any producer who knows what he's doing to create a freestyle beat. And there's a good chance that's gonna sound a little something like Planet Rock. Number three, the lyrics. Hey, ask anyone who's familiar with the genre to write a freestyle song, and there's a good chance that it's gonna be about love. Falling in love, falling out of love, flings, you get the idea. So there you go, the three components that I feel make up a freestyle song. But let me ask you this, if we change any of those three components, could it still be considered a freestyle song? Well, Let's see. Hey, it's no secret that Latinos are the ones that opened up this door, but it wasn't long before others walked through it. And today, freestyle has transcended so many cultures and ethnicities, both as artists and fans. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And the feeling I get when I walk into a venue with an audience that can practically represent the United Nations can be quite overwhelming. Though Latino artists such as Lisa Lisa, TKA, The Cover Girls, and Sapphire were incredible representatives of the genre, the non-Latino you know, artists like Stevie B, Alicia, Trini, and so many others added this touch of diversity that really expanded the fan base. So there you go, folks. A song does not have to feature a Latino artist in order to be considered freestyle. But before we go, how many non-Latino freestyle artists can you name? Post them in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you come up with. Now let's move on. Number two, the beat. Now, does a song have to have the cliche Planet Rock beat in order to be considered freestyle? And of course, the answer is no, as there are many freestyle songs that do not feature the Planet Rock beat. However, while I was doing my research, I did notice something, and because of that, I need to direct this question specifically to the DJs. Of course, there are a lot of songs that don't have a straight up Planet Rock beat, but what I did notice is that a lot of the other beats are very similar. I mean, so similar that they could probably be mixed perfectly. Okay, so here's the question. Are there any freestyle songs out there that have beats that are nothing like Planet Rock? I mean, totally outside the box. Maybe even difficult to mix with a Planet Rock beat. I'm so curious. If you know any songs, please let me know in the comments below. If you can put the link, that'd be great. I really want to know. I'm really curious. Number three, the lyrics. Now, freestyle is known for for its lyrics of love and heartbreak. But tell me, is that necessary? Can a song be written about anything other than love and still be considered a freestyle song? Now, this was my greatest challenge, which is why I made it number three. I was really having a hard time finding any freestyle songs that spoke about anything other than love. I thought about Collage's Gangsta of Love, but it's about love. Uh, TKA's Maria, but it was also about love. Now, I wasn't looking for anything that was negative, just not about love. I, I really racked my brain trying to figure something out and I was just gonna come to the video and let everybody know hey I couldn't find anything but I, then I went and I asked my wife she usually knows everything 
And it was crazy because without any thought, she right away said, Sapphire's gonna make it, which blew me away because I love that song. I don't know how I didn't even think of it. I doubt if you've never heard this song, but I'm gonna put the link in the description below. You need to check it out. It's dope. And it's not about love. But what's strange is thousands and thousands of songs that have been recorded, and this is the only song that I can find that isn't about love. So you know what I'm gonna ask you to do? Please, if you know of any of the songs that are not about about love, please put them in the comments below. I want to know what they are. But either way, once again, we proved that a song does not have to be about love in order to be considered freestyle. Okay, so one final question. Besides the three components that I just mentioned, do you know of any other components that might make up a freestyle song? Please let me know in the comments below. Your answer to this question will become the springboard to many discussions about this topic. And eventually, and only with your help, will we finally discover the voice sound and culture of freestyle music hey I really appreciate you watching this video and if it made any kind of sense to you that thumbs up will let me know and if you hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it every time I upload a new video you'll be the first to know my name is Latif Mercado and until next time keep it real keep it peace and remember freestyle for life